Hey guys, Izzy here, aka Wicked Witch 11, and I'm your Saturday host for The Witch's Voice. This week, I'm so excited because it is my topic that we're tackling this week, and it's called Possession by Dee Dee's. Um, I wanted to talk about this topic so bad because I feel like this topic in particular, it is such a taboo within our community that I just needed to tackle this one head on. So thank you so much everyone on The Witch's Voice for allowing me to pick this topic and for agreeing to cover it. It is very important to me and I just want everyone's input on this particular subject. So thank you so much. Um, here I go. I've had many experiences with possession by my deities before. Um, the first time that I actually got possessed by a deity was when I first started my path um, 16 years ago. Uh, I was a follower of Lilith, the goddess Lilith. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, like one of the stories of Lilith. Um, the main story, or the, the story that I actually based my um, relationship with Lilith when I was actually working with her was the one that says that she was actually the first wife of Adam and um, she refused to lay under him. She, she did not want to be um, walked over by a man. She didn't want to lay down under his rules so she, she basically got casted out of the Garden of Eden and she flew away to the Red Sea where she lived in a cave and basically she had sex with a bunch of demons and then she's had a um, thousand children per, per day like that's one of the stories of Lilith um, basically so because she is such an independent goddess one that does not lay down for any man or anyone who wants to rule over her this attribute it's the one that actually makes it even harder to work with her because she is very headstrong and um, me at that time of, of my life at that point in my path I wasn't really as headstrong as I am now Whereas I would let a lot of people walk over me because I just, I had that wall where I thought, I think I was actually thinking twice before reacting towards what people were doing to me. But with Lilith, she actually was trying to show me that I needed to stand up for myself. And because I wasn't doing it on my own, she decided to mount me basically take over me and help me release the suppressed emotions that I had hidden inside of me and all of the anger that I had inside of me. I found there is this particular chant that you do with Lilith to summon her and every time I would do that, I would say that chant, I would feel this hot feeling from the bottom of my feet all the way up to my heart center and then bam completely taken over now the first time that I was taken over by Lilith I actually was pretty scared because I was fairly new in my path and um, you know I was practicing Wicca and it was pretty scary I never had any experiences like that before um, but uh, it was at that time it was a quick one like she basically came in and didn't I, I feel like it didn't even last five minutes like it was really quick now after that I actually got mounted by Lilith multiple times after that I found that every time I would be in an argument and a really heated argument and I would be yelling or practically enraged then I will lose control and it wouldn't be me anymore. She would come without being called and she would mount me, take over me, and that way I would be expressing the anger even more fiercer than I was before. Which actually got me in a, a lot of trouble at the begin, like in those times because um, at one, one minute I was actually arguing with you in a low tone and the next minute I was yelling at you and like basically punching you in the face and it wasn't actually me it was actually the goddess who was 
expressing herself and her um, her power through me, basically just telling me to not be a chicken shit and just you know get it out, get your anger out. So um, since I had pos I was possessed by her so many times, I started seeing it as a blessing instead of something you know scary and um, bad. So um, from that moment on, every time that I would I would actually think twice before reacting when it came to a situation that actually had gotten me angry because I knew that there was a big possibility that she was actually going to come and take over me once again and will have me expressing my anger in such a way that would actually get me in trouble in the long run. So I actually started controlling it a little bit in some ways. And I actually started protecting myself in a way so that she wasn't so headstrong and came at me so strong and would actually, you know, help me release this this anger energy that actually got me into a lot of trouble. So that's the story with Lilith. She I love her and I will always cherish her from the bottom of my heart. I've worked with her for so many years, and um, like I said, it was a blessing being um, possessed or taken over or even mounted by her spirit. Um, you know, she is a goddess, so it's actually a blessing. Many cultures see possession as a blessing. I mean, we have the, uh, in the Christian faith, uh, people actually get possessed by the Holy Spirit at church. And that's not seen as a bad thing. That's actually seen as a blessing from God, you know. Um, so just like that, in many other cultures and many other religions, people who actually get taken over by either a DT or a spirit that they work with, um, such as in Santeria or um, in Haitian voodoo or um, New Orleans voodoo, um, practitioners who actually get mounted by the loas or the spirit that they're working with, it is actually seen as a blessing and it's, it, you know, they do that to actually teach the practitioners something that they wouldn't otherwise learn. So, um, it is a blessing, and that's how I see it. Um, nowadays, if I get mounted by any of my DTs that I'm working with, I'm, I don't get scared. You know, it's second nature to me. I know it's been 16 years. So, um, my other experience, though, has been with... <laughs> um, a couple of years ago with my ex, um, we were actually in an intimate moment. And um, I hadn't specifically worked with this deity before, but I did a lot of research on him. His name is Dionysus, and he is the god of wine, ecstasy, parties, freeing your inner visions, and just being your free self. Now, he is very headstrong as well, and he has some sexual tendencies. So, me and my partner at that time were actually in an uh, intimate moment, and I found myself being taken over by this energy that I had no idea what it was. But, again, when you're being mounted by any DT or spirit, you have absolutely no control. So... I let my inner visions go, I went wild, I went crazy, um, my partner had no idea what the hell had came over me and what the hell I was doing because I was doing things that I didn't even know I could do. Long story short, after it was done and I actually had the luxury of not having to need anyone from any faith, or even from my own faith, had to come and take the spirit out of me. I have been blessed enough that these deities who took over me um, actually left on their own. Like, they took over me to show me something and then they quickly left on their own. They didn't have to actually get taken out or exercised out of me, which that could be a very dangerous thing. Some spirits and some deities might take over you and if you have no experience with this and they don't want to leave, 
you actually have to have somebody, a priest, a priestess, um, uh, if you practice Santeria, a Babalao, um, someone who has the experience and the knowledge to be able to take the spirit out of you, otherwise you will be walking around zombified and doing things that you wouldn't otherwise be doing because you have the spirit who actually took over you and you don't have the experience to actually release it on your own. Um, so when Dionysus took over me, he basically, I felt like he just wanted to just make me release my inner visions and he wanted to share this moment, uh, this magical moment, this magical sexual moment and he basically enjoyed every minute of it and then after it was done then he was just like woof okay I'm out of here you've learned what you needed to learn and then he just left um, I don't remember much but uh, I, what I know I heard from my partner who actually told me and questioned me afterwards like he was like what the hell what the hell were you doing I mean I'm not complaining but what the hell and I was like what are you talking about like I have no idea what he's saying and then after everything he said and the way he described it to me I did my research and then I found out I did some meditation um, you know I did some breath work extensive extensive meditation and I actually found out that it was Dionysus who came and took over me so I honored him I paid respects to him um, you know I gave him an offering and uh, I gave him an offering of grapes and, uh, you know, I pay respect to him for actually blessing me at that moment and, you know, using me as a vessel at that moment, which to me is a blessing. Again, I see possession by a DT as a blessing. I don't see it as a bad thing. I don't see it as a, as a um, taboo way of... Uh, having to call a Catholic priest to come over and do an exorcism and your head twitches to the side and your eyes roll to the back like no at least in my experience that's not the way it happened but I mean I'm not saying it can't happen that way because it can but um like I said before I've been fortunate enough that these DTs have come blessed me and then left on their own. Now after that though, I intensify my protection because I cannot have that happen all the time. You know, after you've been possessed by such an energy, it is not something that you just, like, after you're done in that state, you're not just gonna wake up, like, stand up and just go continue on your day. You actually are left very drained of all the energy and you actually feel really, really tired. When I used to get taken over by Lilith, I would actually be so tired that I would have to take a nap for a couple of hours. And when I actually got taken over by Dionysus, I actually had to go to sleep because I was so drained out of energy that I just, it was um, a very intense experience. So, um, like I say with everything, caution, caution, caution. Do not call things you do not understand. Research your DTs beforehand. If they are known to possess and take over their followers, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you are protected and make sure you are ready to deal with what's coming afterwards. And if you don't know how to deal with it, make sure you have somebody there with you who can actually help you out if it does happen to you. Because it can be very dangerous. So with that being said, um, I'm already at 14 minutes. This video is way too long. So um, thank you so much for watching. And um, Draco, you got my name right. It is Izzy. And you look great with your new haircut. Um, thank you for tackling my topic. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share. And until next Saturday, thank you so much and blessed be.